Greetings, one and all. The Sheffield Steelers and the Cardiff Devils of the Elite Ice Hockey League faced off earlier this evening in the EIHL Challenge Cup Final. It was a very hard-fought game. I watched it myself, paid a tenner to watch it be live-streamed online. I mean, I missed most of the first period because of internet problems from them, not from myself, which was a bit of a pain in the ass. But anyway, that's not important right now. Within the game, the Cardiff Devils came out on top with a 3-2 victory at home in their home arena. And the Cardiff Devils are the 2016-2017 Challenge Cup champions. The game was a repeat of the 2014-15 Challenge Cup final, which saw the Devils win 2-1 at Sheffield Arena. And it is the third straight year the Cardiff Devils have made the final of the Challenge Cup, but they've won only two of three consecutive appearances. They played against the Nottingham Panthers last year in the final and lost 1-0 in overtime. The Nottingham Panthers have won the Challenge Cup more than any other team, but we'll get onto that later. For now, let's look at the events of the Challenge Cup final that happened only several hours ago. The puck was dropped and the first period began. Gleason Fournier opened the scoring for the Cardiff Devils, 3.53 into the first period. That goal was assisted by, Mar by Martin and Kearney, or, or Kearney I believe it's called as well. However, Robert Dowd of the Sheffield Steelers tied the game with less than four minutes left in the period. That goal was assisted by Nelson and Fitzgerald. But you thought the period might be over there, folks. With 49 seconds left in the period, Matt Owa, or Matthew Wa, however you wish to call him, one of the more superstar players in the Elite Ice Hockey League, who always raises his game when the stakes are highest, he scored to give the Sheffield Steelers a 2-1 lead 49 seconds before the first period ended. And the assists to that goal were given to John Armstrong and the superstar defenseman of the EIHL and GB, Ben O'Connor. Now, after a quick rest for the two teams in their locker rooms, the second period got underway. It was a very quiet period with several chances for either side, but each team was playing their system, so there wasn't really much happening. They were shooting the puck well, the goaltenders were making the stops, they were getting blocked by the defensemen, they were playing strong in their zone and relatively strong in the other zone, and not much was happening. However, all that changed when Mark Louis or Mark Lewis tied the game for Cardiff with 2 minutes 20 left in the second period. This goal was assisted by Kearney and Bentivolio, or Bentivolio. What an interesting name. That's a cool name. As the second period came to an end, Steelers goaltender Mustakov has shown why he was the goaltender of the game, as he had been solid for the Steelers, keeping the game tied. Even though it was a tie game, after the second period, a 2-2 draw for the Steelers and the Devils. Musnikov was solid in net. He was definitely the first star of that game up until that point. Because he had managed to keep the Sheffield Steelers in that game. It was a very tough game for the Sheffield Steelers. The Cardiff Devils came out guns blazing from the first dr uh, drop of the puck, really. And uh, it's, it's down to Musnikov, the fact that the Steelers were still in it by the third period. But after another rest, the final stanza of the game took place. The third period had everything on the line between these two teams as the game was tied 2-2. Who was going to step up and for which team were they going to win the cup? The third period started the way, the same way the second period did. But 3 minutes 38 into the third period, Lane Ulmer of the Cardiff Devils put Cardiff back into the lead for the first time since the first period. The goal was assisted by Haddad and Asalid, I believe is how you pronounce his name. I'm not too keyed up with the Cardiff Devils players. The rest of the period was a well-fought battle. Oh, it was a fight, guys. With both teams fighting so hard to grab that title. The Cardiff Devils looking for that insurance marker goal. The Sheffield Steelers looking for the game-tying goal. The game hit its highest tension level when the Sheffield Steelers were given a power play, a two-minute minor power play, with roughly two and a half minutes left to play in the entire game. Oh, God, that was a bloody great finish to the game. Even though the Sheffield Steelers applied some pressure towards the end of the game, the Devils held on to their one-goal lead and hoisted the Elite Ice Hockey League Challenge Cup for the third time in franchise history. Now, a little bit about the Challenge Cup. The Challenge Cup is the third trophy available every Elite Ice Hockey League season. The other two being the best team in the regular season, the team that wins the league after the season, and the team that wins the playoffs that take place after the regular season. As I said earlier, the Nottingham Panthers have won the Challenge Cup the most times out of any teams with eight title wins. The Sheffield Steelers, who lost this one, are second with four title wins, 
With their last win coming in 2003 though, so 14 years since they last won the Challenge Cup. And the Cardiff Devils, with their win today, now solely hold third place with three title wins. So there you go. That was my roundup of the 2016-17 Challenge Cup final between the Sheffield Steelers and the new champion Cardiff Devils. Thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you have enjoyed. If you have any thoughts about this, anything you want to say about either team or the game that took place, whether you were there, let me know in the comments below. I'd love to know what you guys think. But thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you've enjoyed. Please feel free to like, subscribe, share, or watch some of my other videos. Thank you very much for watching, and goodbye.